Welcome back to one and all. I am Vasantha, Department of Computer Science, Gopal Swami PU College, Mysore. Today I want to start with the last session of Boolean Algebra, that is session number 15. Whereas in this chapter, already I explained regarding min term, how to solve the min term K map. Today I am going to explain how to solve the max term by using K map. For example, before studying that, I want to know how to write the K map for two variable, for three variable, I, that I am to explain you. If you have, that is product of some reduction using K map, on that if you have two variables, then X and Y totally four cell will get, one is X and one more is Y. Whereas in mean term, what we have done, first bar we are written, for example, if you have four, two variables, then X, X, Y, Y, first bar and then for the second one non bar we are written that is non complement whereas for max term first it is non bar non complement then once again it will be complement x y here x bar y now this cell represents x plus y whereas this cell corresponding row is x plus column is y bar this x bar plus y whereas x bar plus y bar it corresponding core row and corresponding column it will take for three variables x plus y plus z x plus y plus z bar x plus y bar plus z bar next this will represent x plus y bar plus z whereas here x bar plus y plus z x bar plus y plus z bar x bar plus y bar plus z bar x bar plus y bar plus z if you have three variables w x whereas in mean term for first three bar and then for the last one we should write bar but for the max term for first three and for the last one it is non complement for the remaining it will be complemented now this cell represents w plus x plus y plus z here W plus X plus Y plus Z bar. W plus X plus Y bar plus Z bar. Now, W plus X plus Y bar plus Z. Now, here W plus X bar plus Y plus Z. Here, corresponding row. W plus X bar plus Y plus Z bar. Now, once again, W plus X bar plus Y bar plus Z bar. Now the next cell represents a W plus X bar plus Y bar plus Z. Now once again W bar plus X bar plus Y plus Z. W bar plus X bar plus Y plus Z bar corresponding row, corresponding column we have to consider. W bar plus X bar plus Y bar plus Z bar. Once again. W bar plus X bar plus Y bar plus Z. Now for the last one, W bar plus X plus Y plus Z. Now once again, W bar plus X plus Y plus Z bar. W bar plus X plus Y bar plus Z bar. Next, W bar plus X plus Y bar plus Z for four variable. Then what is the difference between min term and max term? In min term, in between we use write product format that is dot format whereas in max term we write plus. And in min term for first three bar and then for the last one bar. Whereas in max term for the first three we are not supposed to put any bar for the remaining next four you have to put bar and for the last one don't put any bar. Now we will explain few K map problems by using max term whereas in the previous class we explained how to solve K map especially by using mean term now max term that will explain now. Now for example consider the question find find the minimum find the minimum POS, POS stands for product of sum expression of 
y of a b c d equals pi of 0 1 3 5 6 7 10 14 15 see the difference between mean term and max term in mean term on this place we write sigma whereas if it is max term here we will write pi then totally four variables then you write the cells four cells only four row and four columns but here first a plus b this part represents c plus d now write on the variable as it is a plus b a plus b a plus b a plus b here also c plus d c plus d c plus d c plus d whereas in mean term what we are doing for the first three bar and then for the last one bar but here for the first three don't put any bar next for four variables write on bar 1 2 3 then 1 2 3 4 now wherever they given the value there you have to write 0 whereas in mean term we write 1 now before identifying write on the cell letter 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 for 0 cell here write on 0 next for 1 write on 0 for 3 0 for 5 it will be 0 for 6 also 0 7 next for 10 for 10 next for 14 next for 15 for the remaining cell write on 1 whereas in mean term wherever they given the values there you use write 1 whereas in max term wherever they given the value there you have to put 0 now we have to circle the zeros whether it is a quad format pair format octet format or roll mapping but here you have to consider zero now see the expression this especially this k map which pattern here it is possible three i cannot take then first what i will do i am going to take pair i can consider the pair this is the first pair next i can take the quad here quad is possible here once again check here is it possible to quad any variable no then here take down one more quad one more quad next here only one zero here by. then don't take single make it as pair this is pair therefore then how to write the reduced form and before identifying the reduced form write on the expression First, I am going to take first quad. Take down first two rows. On this first two rows, which is the common factor? A is the common factor. A plus. Column wise, see these two columns. C, C bar here. D bar, D bar. Common factor is D bar. Whereas here, A is the common factor. In column wise, d bar is the common factor but here i used to write plus symbol whereas in mean term i used to write dot operator now this represents the first quad now i'm going to take the second quad second quad value equals this quad i'm going to take on this b bar is the common factor plus see the column wise here d bar d will cancel the common factor will be c bar now is it clear? Next take on the pair. First pair. First pair. Take on the first pair. On this, only one row we have. That's why A plus B. But column wise, we have two columns. That's why on these two columns, the common factor will be C only. Plus C. Second pair equals. Second, this is the second pair. Now on this pair, what's the common factor? A bar become the common factor but column wise only one column we have that's why C bar plus D therefore reduce Z form equals first we take first one A plus D bar A plus D bar here in between dot operator there 
for us in mean term you should write plus operator next b bar plus c bar dot a plus b plus c dot a bar plus c bar plus d this is the final reduced form for the given k map a b c d then a d bar b bar c a bar b c bar d now we'll to explain with one more problem same pattern in the question you have to check whether it is in mean term form or it is in max term form before solving the equation that you have to check otherwise you will lose the marks given f of a b c d equals sigma of pi of 0 2 4 6 8 10 14 pi of use k map to reduce the function to reduce the function f second question under this right a logic gate diagram logic gate diagram for the for the reduced expression for the reduced expression now see the question totally four variables here we have the four variables that's why write down for four variables first a plus b and your c plus d a plus b a plus b a plus b a plus b your c plus d c plus d c plus d c plus d for first three bar we used to write in mean term whereas here for first three don't put any bar next four 1 2 3 4 here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 now they are given the value for 0 next for 2 4 6 8 8 10 next for 14 for the remaining cell write on 1 1 1 1 now check roll map already i told you first i have to check for roll map if i have one here then i can take octet but here i don't have one then what i have to do i have to take the roll map only for corridors this corridors first i have to take first one corridor next i can consider this corridor these two i can take next one more here one i having then here don't take it as pair because here also we have one and with that it does not have any redundancy that's why take down one more quad here therefore first quad first quad i'm to take the corridors on this corridors the common factor will be b plus in column wise the common factor will be d next second quad i'm to take these two then on this a is the common factor a plus here the common factor will be d the common factor will be d next i am to take this quad here then third quad here the row y value will cancel the remaining will be c bar plus d therefore reduced form equals 
B plus D into A plus D into C bar plus D. Now, for the given reduced form, the write a logic gate diagram for the reduced expression. Now, for the given reduced expression, now we have to write the logic gate. Then, here B plus D, I am going to take B, then D. These two are combined with plus operator, that is why reverse C shape I have to consider. Next, A and D, here I am going to take the same D, otherwise if you want you can write one more D also, A D. Connect this with the C ship once again. Next, C D. Take down here C, but C bar here we have. That's why take it as C bar then D. Once again, here C shape. All this are connected with dot operator. That's why write down. Connect all this with D shape. This is the final reduced circuit diagram for the given equation. Like this you will get one compulsory question on your annual exam for 5 marks. Solve the given equation by using K-map. See the question properly whether it is in min term form or it is in max term form. If it is min term form in the question itself they will mention min term. Otherwise they will write pi. Otherwise they will write small m. From that only you come to know it is min term. If it is max term then capital M they will write max term only otherwise they will write pi. Then you have to solve the given K map. This completes your Boolean algebra chapter. Thank you for all of you.